everyone, back at it again with another bright and colorful look. I am so excited for this video, and the reason why, it's because it's on the My Little Pony and ColourPop collaboration. I about died when I saw this launch. I was like, oh, you know I'm purchasing this collection. So I purchased everything in this video, and I also purchased extra for you guys. So make sure to go head over to my Instagram, Madison89Miller, to find out how to enter this giveaway. All you have to do is just go to my Instagram, find the My Little Pony flat lay of all the products on my Instagram pictures, and all the rules will be in that caption right there. So just follow those and enter to try to win some of these products. So yeah. Good luck to everyone there. But before we get into this video, make sure to click that subscribe button if you guys wanna be a part of the Miller Squad and also turn on that bell as well if you wanna be a part of our notification squad. If you turn on that bell, make sure to comment that down below so that way you can get a shout out. All right, so our notification shout out goes to Zoe Powell. Thank you so much for having your notification bell turned on. You're amazing. Now let's go ahead and get on into some of the products in these videos and this quick first impressions look using the products. Boom. All right, you guys, I totally had to buy the horse. Like, how cute is this? I mean, it even comes with the star brush. Who remembers the star brush? This is awesome. <sighs> like, my inner child is just coming out, and I love it. And I know I'm totally gonna go watch those movies and those shows right after I film this, because I need some My Little Pony in my life right now. I definitely do. So if you guys wanna purchase the PR collection, I'm gonna have all the links down below. None of them are affiliate or anything. But if you guys wanna purchase the PR collection is where you get the whole collection and then also this awesome bag. I had to purchase this for myself. Like, yeah, I needed this bag right here. Like, are you kidding me? So if you purchase the whole collection, it's $135. Or if you purchase a collection that's not the PR collection, then that's $110. And a part of it as well is this makeup bag right here, which I think is the cutest makeup bag ever because it has a My Little Pony on the zipper. This bag though, yeah. All right, so now that I covered those really quick, let's go ahead and get on into this first impressions makeup tutorial. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the eyes first and I'm gonna be using the My Little Pony Pressed Powder Shadow Palette right here. I'm obsessed with the packaging. I do not even want to throw away the boxes. To be honest with this collection, I just want to not even touch it. I just want to display it in my room and keep it for the rest of time. But yeah, this is, oh my God, it's the rainbow. Okay, yeah, all right, I'm excited. All right, so this is the My Little Pony Palette right here. Look how beautiful this is. They even have Firefly on it. Oh my God, they have Clover. <gasps> so we're gonna go right into this palette right now. These are the shades right here. We have a total of three, six, nine, 12. We have total 12 shades with a mix of matte and shimmer. This is a very colorful palette and very, very beautiful. I'm also gonna be using some of the brushes from the ColourPop and My Little Pony brush set. This retails for $22. First impression, I don't know if this is worth $22 to be honest, but we're gonna see how these actually work. Ooh, I like this concealer brush right here. That one's really nice. That might be going inside of my um, makeup bag. But they also have this blending brush as well. So I'm gonna be using that to go into this kind of cream matte shade, bone white almost like, you know, and I'm just gonna use this to set my lids. All right, so first we're gonna go into this shade right here. This is kind of a muted rose shade, really pretty. And I'm gonna focus this one in my crease. All right, so I really like the way that that pink blended out. That was beautiful. Now we're gonna go into this shade right here. This is more of a kind of a deeper purpley pink shade. And I'm just gonna focus this one also in the crease and keep it a little bit lower than that other pink shade. Oh, dude, that looks bomb. That looks so good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye real quick. All right, so now we're just gonna kind of clean up the lids and stuff with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm just gonna pop this on the lid. You know what? We're gonna take that concealer brush and we're just going to carve out this crease. Dude, I think I like the NARS Radiant Concealer better to do this than the Tarte Shape Tape. Now that we have that concealer, now I need to set it with this matte white shade right here. I'm just going to pack it on my brush and just press it where I put that concealer. This is going to make the eyeshadow that I'm gonna place on top 
pop even more. All right, so I've been going back and forth what I wanna pop on the lid, and I think I'm gonna go into this color right here because we know how much I love my blues and my teals. So I kinda wanna pop that one there. I think also like this one would have been really pretty. This super shock eyeshadow would have been pretty, but I think I'm gonna go into this one and then go into another super shock eyeshadow to intensify it some way. So I'm gonna go into this really pretty like shimmer teal right here and I'm just gonna pack this all on the lid. Oh, this looks so good. Seriously, thumbs up this video if you guys are enjoying all of these bright eye looks. And for me, stepping out of my comfort zone with these, I'm having so much fun though right now. I'm having a lot of fun playing with makeup. I feel like I did when I was in high school when I used to like love playing with makeup, like color and everything. Yeah. All right, so I'm really loving the way that this is turning out already. So now we're gonna go into these Super Shock eyeshadows. These retail for $5, and there's three in the collection, so let's go ahead and open them up real quick. All right, so the first one that we have here is called Posey, and these are Ultra Glitter Super Shock, Super Shock eyeshadows. So these aren't like their regular Super Shock shadows. These more are more like Ultra Glitter, which is why they're pretty sparse and they're not very like super opaque pigmented. I was like really confused at first when I first watched them, but then I actually got a closer look at the name and it's like ultra glitter. The next one that we have here is this purple one right here and this is Sunbeam. So I'm just gonna, there it is right there. It's a really pretty like lavender purple shade. Very glittery, see that? Really fun. And then last but not least, we have the one that mine kind of broke. Do you see that? So sad. So this one is Cherry's, Ju Ju Ugh. Cherry's Jubilee. And this is just a, oh my God, a piece of it fell out. I'm just gonna press, press a man down. It's like an ice white with a shift of pink in it. It's like a holographic in a sense. Ooh, check that out, yeah. So those are the shades right there. So again, they're ultra glitter, so they're not gonna be like crazy opaque like the other Super Shock shadows. They are more so just a glitter like topper in a sense. So we're gonna go into this one right here, which is Cherry's Jubilee, and I'm just gonna pop it right on the center of my lid. You know what, Oh, This is why I'm not like the biggest fan of super shock eyeshadows because they are so hard to do if you have nails. So I'm actually gonna go into my brush instead and I'm gonna pat this on top. And you know what's great about this shadow right here because it has those reflex of pink in it. It will make it like, I don't see, if you're not gonna get it on camera, I can see it in person. It's got like a reflective pink in it. So it actually makes it tie in really well with the colors that we use for the crease. I'm also gonna take that same shadow and I'm gonna pop it on the inner corner of the eye. We're gonna go into this pressed shadow right here. I kind of like these a little bit better. We're gonna go into that like icy white shade right there and we're gonna pop this in the inner corner of the eye. Yeah, there we go, it's a lot more pigmented. We're just going to mimic what we did up top, so we're gonna grab that first kind of muted rose shade and blend this out on the bottom lash line. All right, so next up we're gonna go in that purple pink shade that's a little bit deeper, and we're gonna keep this really close to the lash line as well. And then we're going into that teal, and we're gonna press it. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye. All right, so I'm gonna go into this teal, um, Makeup Geek Pencil Eyeliner. This is in the shade Mint, and I'm gonna pop this on my waterline. Awesome, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my liner and my mascara, and I'll be right back. All right, so lashes and mascara and liner are done. I use this new MAC one that I got. This is the Zoom Black Mascara. It looks like this, it looks really cool. I actually really enjoyed this mascara. Did it flake on me or anything, so that was a plus. And then for my eyelashes, I use these Eyler Luxe ones. These are Borog, Borog? I don't know. It's these ones right here, you guys. <laughs> I don't know which ones these are. I don't know how to say that word. So yeah, I used those and then I used my Kat Von D Trooper liner. So really pretty, really like that. So the other brushes that come in the set right here are an angled brush, a highlighting brush, and then also a eyeliner brush down here that I didn't use because I used a liner pen. 
But we're gonna go ahead and get into a little bit of contour to do some face stuff. I'm gonna be trying out this Smashbox step-by-step -step contour kit right here. I haven't used this yet and I've been dying to use it. It comes with its own brush, but we're gonna go into this one first. Ooh, check that out, looks nice. We're gonna go into this shade right here. It's a little bit more of a cooler toned shade. I think it will compliment me more. And I'm just going to work this into the hollows of my cheeks. There we go. Oh, we no longer have a flat face. We have a cheekbone. I'm also gonna take a little bit of it slightly down the sides of my nose. And then we're gonna take that same brush and we're just gonna blend down. And then take the brush that I used to set with on top and then boom, we have our nose contour. It's not really like much of a nose contour. I don't really have to do it much. I just do it just to like make my nose not look so flat. All right, so blush, I'm gonna keep it pretty neutral and we're just gonna go into this one from The Balm. This is Balm Beach and this is their long wearing blush. Right. Take my blush brush, dab it in there and just press it on the cheeks. All right, so in this collection, they also came out with two highlighters right here. We have the shade Trickles, which I'm gonna take it out of the box because for some reason, ColourPop does not like to put the name on the packaging and it's because they say that you could pop out the pans but it's a single pan who's gonna keep popping them out of the pans mmm I don't like that but I love the packaging I mean look at that you got silhouettes of my little ponies god I really want to watch the show right now I'm totally gonna watch it when I get done filming this yeah so this is trickles trickles right here I don't know that pony I'm sure that these are all named after ponies but ooh, I think this is the one that we're gonna use today, to be honest. This is really pretty. It's a very nice light lavender highlight right there. And Starflower looks like that. Ooh! Yeah, so you got like a cool tone and a warm tone highlight, which is great for light skin tones and dark skin tones. So I like it that they, you know, gravitate to both for these. So that's really cool. But we're gonna go into this one, Trickles, and we're gonna use that. We're also gonna go into this highlighting brush from the brush little set, tap off the excess, and then just place it. Let me see where I'm placing this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. Look at that. It looks like Firefly is, you know, just flying across my face right now. I'm just gonna highlight everywhere, you know? We're just gonna have fun with this. All right, so we have an assortment of lip products here and they all retail for $6. So I'm gonna go ahead and open them up and we'll get to swatching them. All right, so they are all um, boxed right here and I just absolutely love the names, you guys. The names are awesome. <sighs> Throw me back. But you know what I noticed is that they have like, watch, I'm gonna swatch this one for you guys because I love this name. This is the Flutter Valley. If you guys remember the Flutter Ponies, they have like kind of skinnier legs and they can fly. Yeah, those ones, like I just remember those Flutter Valley, like, you know, um, saving Flutter Valley or something. I remember that was one of the episodes. And I noticed that something they don't have in this collection. I don't think they have any of the sea ponies. Like, what about the sea ponies? I mean, do you guys remember the jingle? Like, call upon the sea ponies when you're in distress. Yeah, like, God, I'm the biggest dork in the world, but I am a huge lover of my, like, this was my childhood. My mom even tells me to this day, she's like, you had all of my little ponies and you would not let anyone touch or play with your ponies. And I'm like, nope. So yeah, this first one right here is Flutter Valley. You guys are getting a little peek into Madison's early chapters in her life. But dude, this one is gorgeous. This is an ultra glossy lip. How stunning is that? This other ultra glossy lip is called Ponyland, which is where all the ponies are at, you know? There are so many different types of storylines with the ponies. Oh, this is beautiful. Ponyland is right next to it, that gorgeous like, purple glitter right there. But yeah, so many different storylines. Like there was like the ponies. I remember when they dressed up for the masquerade ball. I remember the sea ponies. I remember the brother ponies. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now. Now we're on to Dream Castle. This is 
Dreamcastle. Okay, this is ultra glossy lip as well, and this one is more of a hot magenta shade with some kind of, I want to say, purple blue reflex in it. Look at that gorgeous. Yes. So pretty, so pretty. Honestly, you could take a lip liner, fill in your lips, top it off with this. These are actually pretty opaque. I actually like them a little bit better than the Fenty, I have to say right now. I haven't put them on my lips, so I can't say. You know what? I'm a little biased too because I'm a my little pony fanatic. But let's go ahead and swatch the other ones real quick. All right, so the last three lip products here are the ultra matte lips, so let's go through these quickly. The first one that we have here is Lemon Drop. This is a kind of, I wanna say a muted lavender shade. See how it has that kind of grayish tone? It's kind of muted down. The next one that we have is a Moon Dancer. Check this one out. This is a deep, like a deep kind of plum shade deep muted plum shade because it also has that gray tone underneath it and then last but not least we have pinwheel and this is just a hot magenta shade with that really gorgeous like bluish violet undertone i think we're gonna go for purple we're gonna go for purple and then we're gonna top it off with either Flutter Valley. I think I'm going to go with Flutter Valley to be honest, lighten it up a bit, but I think we're going to go in with the purple. All right, so I was going to use a lip liner, but I can't find one that will go with this shade. So we're just going to go right in with this. I'm going to take the excess off of it so that way we don't have too much product. And then I'm just going to line or not line. I'm going to fill in my lips right now. Now we're going to go into Flutter Valley just to top it on top of this lip color. But look at how awesome this looks. I love it. I love the way that this look turned out. The purple lip, the teal on the lids, the pink in the crease. The eyeshadow palette was awesome. Like those colors were really easy for me to work with. So that was a plus right there. Big thumbs up to them. But yeah, I really love the way that this look turned out. I can't wait to take pictures of it and everything. And I'm just so excited for this My Little Pony collection. I know I'm a little late to the game, but I had to film it no matter what because we go way back. We go way back. And also don't forget to head over to my Instagram, Madison89Miller, to go enter my Instagram giveaway so you guys have a chance to win these products as well. So yeah, all right. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below what you wanna see next on my channel because I'm always taking video requests and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.